That's a lot. This could be a dwarf game. It's probably like buy, sell, lonely prints, and then roll the dice next turn. Six crafty start. Depends how the shops go. I'm pretty happy buying bossy and something else next turn. You always only got 42 for a first once you're at the min. This is a scary spell. When you're below Mythic, I think the min is like 60, but in Mythic it's always been 42. 42, 20, minus 2. First, second, third. Still winning fights. Going for six crafties is a lot more tempting than a lot of the other pairs, just because the crafties scale off of each other, because you get two treasures. It's just an extra 4-4 four, four on each of the crafties. Yeah, free roll from the wish is the disaster. But I think you gotta go for it, especially on level 3. The pool is so much bigger on 3 than it was on 2. Probably not. I'll just take two twos. The crafties usually stay in until level six. I'm just gonna float one gold. But yep. I got nothing better to do. I would expect to lose this fight against Waddle. We'll probably fall to 30 here. This should be a big hit. Then we'll be stable. How does fates interact with law? You get an additional thing. Hmm, or Waddle's not doing anything. Waddle off to a very slow start. Yep, just keep getting more. This could be really good. I don't think I want Needle Nose. And I definitely don't care about Hermes Boots. This might just be 8 8 on the Crafty. But that's fine. It's about what Hermes Boots was going to be anyway. Yeah, so like with Blind Mice too, you can take Blind Mice turn one and then keep locking until you get two of them to get two level four treasures. The only units you really do it on are sometimes Blind Mouse and a little more often Crafty. Yeah, it depends. You definitely do it less with Blind Mice than Crafties. Um, just bank the gold. I can't 
buy anything here. I'm not gonna waste money on a cat's call. I guess I could buy a dragon here if I roll, but. Take the XP earlier. You could. I kind of want to just find like greedy to maximize on the bank. XP is a bit less important when you have piggy bank, especially when you have piggy bank plus reasonable tempo, because you can just bank the gold until you get six while being carried by your tempo to get there. Like if you're winning fights anyway, the difference between getting to six on 5.2 or 6.0 doesn't matter if you just save your gold. You're still getting the same amount of gold at level six. Selling the eco everywhere. I don't think I want to drop the pair of dragons. Awkward. First crack it loaded little six units. Yeah. That matters basically zero when you're in dwarves. It's worth to sell non pairs, only if it puts you above five. You only get an extra gold if you're above five gold. greedy. I can roll a couple times. I can go down to 10. I don't think I want to go below 10 though. Just stay on the two interest gold. If I didn't have double crafty, I'd just sell the pair of dragons too, just to get the 15 and not roll at all, but with the crafty is like value being on all the pairs. Mermaid was kind of cute. Mermaid's always kind of cute. Can roll once more with the Minotaur. Yeah, I could. Okay, fine. That's really good. Okay, it was worth it. <laughs> this stays on the interest point, right? Because <sighs> I get the gold before the start of the turn. Should probably have these up front. Okay, that ring of meteors was disgusting. Just solid filth. It's a twenty-two gold. I guess I want to replace the baby dragon. Let's just try to do that this turn. Eh. Sure. I guess I don't need these anymore. Now every amount of gold matters because I don't know how many times these are going to get damaged. Hopefully it's in the map so I can get Grail. The dream. If I grill bank, then I won't talk to chat for the rest of the game. Does chat really want that?
<laughs> Fuck it. I'm not scared of the Wonder Waddle. He says, positively terrified of the Wonder Waddle. Hey, Yabja. Thanks for the Prime. Thanks for the three months. Welcome back. Slay is so greedy. I love it. I'm also going to six. I'm just like doom roll next turn. Oh my god, I'm gonna get a second ring of meteors. <laughs> I'll be so sad if I lose this fight. Overlay? Chat is on screen. What? some hitting. scary board if we uh, didn't hit. Kind of trash. More gold for me. Take the Midas. <sighs> yep. So what, now I want to buy like Neon so I can Amber this. Piggy bank plus early tempo is 
very, very good. I think people don't pick Piggy Bank often enough. Is that better than the Amy? Only a couple of level 2 treasures that have the potential to win the game, and Piggy Bank is one of them. It's like Piggy Bank and Puzzle Rune. But Piggy Bank is way harder to use. Like, we had a Loki game a couple days ago, where we had like an Ancient Sark on 3.2 or 3.1. And then we took a bank and boosted from there. Yeah, Bounty Board's one of them. here. Balance is a uh, is hard. Well, sort of. So it's hard to it's hard to balance a fun game. Let's put it that way. Balance in a vacuum is easy, but like you're never dealing with balance in a vacuum. This is like one of the things that the the Gwent community just like didn't understand. Wee. Got him. Okay, I need to take a question break. I will be back in like two minutes.